Hello everyone and welcome to the Fiscal Talk. My name is Milica and I am a marketing manager at Fiscal Solutions. Today we are in a lineup that you haven't had a chance to see for a long time. Uh, as your today's speaker is Alexander Marinkovic, legal consultant at Fiscal Solutions. Uh, Alexander is my dear colleague and someone who will give us uh, very interesting information as today we will talk about the NFTs and their application in real Web2 world. So Alexander, please introduce yourself and then maybe to tell us what are we going to talk about today. Hello everyone and thank you Milica. So as you told, uh, I'm a legal consultant here, as, uh, here at uh, Fiscal Solution. So uh, the countries that I cover for uh, fiscalizations are Croatia, Slovenia and Czech Republic, but I'm also deep into the OSS system in European Union. And I'm also in, uh, let's say, blockchain, cryptocurrency and NFT uh, talks, <laughs> let's call it like that. So uh, I am, let's say, researching uh, how they can be taxed, how they can be used and many, many other things that are still not regulated. But uh, we are always discussing what is the future uh, around that. So today we are going to actually talk about uh, token gated commerce. And because the, let's say the general topic is actually selling NFTs on POS system. And there are actually a couple of things that we have, uh, that we have to have in mind when we are talking about uh, selling NFTs on the POS. And uh, those things, let's say, or there are three critical parts or components of that process, which are actually minting, customer experience, and sale, seller's experience. But before we go to those three parts, I find it really necessary to first talk about token gated co uh, commerce. Okay, so this will be interesting. Uh, I actually, I'm really, really excited to hear more about it because I know that you actually work hard on this uh, topic and this is not the only thing uh, you were working on um, lately. So uh, I'm really curious. Um, so my question would be, um, if you tell, can tell us actually more about uh, that token gated commerce um, and uh, to talk about uh, does um, th that's actually three parts uh, that you mentioned. In its essence, the token gated commerce actually means restricted access to consumers or uh, for consumers owning a particular NFT to part of an online store, such as certain, certain products or discounts or collections. Uh, basically, so sellers uh, can select specific NFT and smart contract to define what content uh, they allow access to. If a consumer owns one of those NFTs in their crypto wallet, uh, they will be granted access to that restricted content. Uh, as we can see here, uh, once a uh, customer or consumer buys an NFT, it is stored in the customer's crypto uh, wallet. Uh, when okay. the consumer wants to use this NFT, uh, first a token gate, uh, gating app is used to check the customer's wallet uh, in uh, order to validate that it actually contains any uh, required NFTs. Uh, once this app confirms that the consumer actually has the requested NFT, NFT uh, the customer will be uh, allowed to access the exclusive content and place orders uh, from the store as any other store. So basically, it, it will function like you're ordering a T-shirt or something else. Thank you. Thank you for the answer. Um, of course, I have... Um... One more question for you regarding this topic. Um, so can you please tell us what is the purpose of token gated commerce? So what, what actually are the benefits of this commerce? Yeah. Well, in first mind, like everything in retail, we have to look uh, from uh, customers or com consumers perspective. So there are many benefits for customers, exclusive access to some kind of uh, collection or products or discounts. Also, there is a benefit in NFT ownership that grants access to future NFT releases. So you have an NFT that will actually grant you an exclusive access to next NFT collection. Yes. Then, <laughs> you know, so there, there is an uh, NFT ownership as a requirement for airdrops. I don't know if everyone is actually 
uh, aware what an airdrop is. So basically airdrop is distribution of cryptocurrency tokens or NFTs that are sent to Web3 wallet address for free as a promotion or as added value for participating in an experience or purchasing a digital asset. Basically, it means that you, if you buy one NFT, maybe the seller of the or the issuer of that NFT will actually reward you with another free NFT. Okay, thank you. Actually, <laughs> I know what is the airdrop because I have it on my iPhone, but I, that is not the same airdrop you're we talking about. Today. Yeah, no, this is complete uh, different situation here. Yeah, and uh, finally, yeah, there is like exclusive access to community engagement channels, including online Discord, such as uh, one that Fiscal Solution has, and uh, channels and communities and in-person events and uh, retail store uh, activities. So there, there are many benefits for customers in, in first place, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, as you mentioned, our Discord channel, I must add, uh, if you are interested in Web3 um, space, please join us. I will leave the link uh, below so you can just click and uh, it will redirect you to the, our Discord channel. Uh, thank you, Alexander. Because this was really interesting to hear. Uh, we always do some fiscal topics, right? And yeah. now we are like, combining fiscal topics, POSs, real world with future world, Web 2 with Web 3, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and so on. So this is really, really interesting always to hear because it's something new. Um, and I always learn something from you guys, uh, from our legal department, like always. So thank you. Thank you. We try to do again. our best. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. And I can see that. So thank you so much. And thank you for your time. And of course, uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask uh, our legal consultant, Alexander, or to, or to type on our marketing email address. I will put them down uh, in the bio. Thank you once again and see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.